Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today I am bringing you guys an empties video it's been a minute since I did my last one but if I'm being honest with you guys I haven't been working to kind of finish things off as heavily as I was like earlier in the year and in the beginning of the year and that's basically because since I've been doing my perfume tray rotation I've been rotating through a lot of my fragrances as well not really with the intent to finish things off like I'm still going to be finishing things of course because I'm just a heavy user of my product Products. but when it comes to like actually focusing on things these last few months I haven't really been going hard to try and finish things that's also why you guys have not seen a project use it up video from me because I've just been enjoying rotating through my things and using whatever it is that I want while I still focus on some things here and there so yeah I still have a lot of empties but it's really not as much as it could have been the bag is of course still full so we're gonna go through everything and we're gonna talk about it um and then maybe starting in January I could start having like more empties and bigger empties like how I used to but let's get started with the first thing so this is a pink sugar shower gel and this is from the brand the perfume chick and i talked about this brand before on my channel some of you guys are actually familiar with it if you're from the dmv area my best friend put me on to this company it's a small business and they pretty much make like shea butter and moisturizing products that have the scent of higher end perfume sort of things so this was pink sugar and it was the body wash and it was so good it smells exactly like pink sugar so i really enjoyed using that up um something i have here and something is leaking in here as always okay but this is the l brand 100% pure cotton ultra thin pads I had these in my last empties video and you guys are going to see the panty liners in my next empties video because I am sold and hooked on these products I feel like they are so great because they're 100% cotton they're not scented like that's what I need okay so really really good products um I finished off the native toasted marshmallow and vanilla body wash now y'all I did not like this okay like I used it up but I don't know like this smelled kind of like a basic vanilla to me. It wasn't as toasty as I wanted it to be. It wasn't as marshmallowy as I wanted it to be. Like, it was okay if you were going to use it as a layering agent with a lot of other products, but it wasn't all that to me. It was just okay. Native has done better since <clears throat> the sugar cookie one. They've done better since, so I did not love that one. I finished off a Sunset Glow Moisturizing Body Wash. I'm still working through all of my moisturizing body washes because I really want to get those out. Um, my Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Lotion. I love this scent. Loved it so much. And you guys know I was pairing this with my Coach Dreams Sunset Perfume. Really, really nice combination. I finished off a Smart Mouth Original um, Zinc Activated Breath Rinse. I really like this mouthwash. I go through it pretty quickly and it is a little expensive for what it is, but for what it does for me, I'm willing to pay that price. So I do have another one of these going currently and I will repurchase that one. I did finish off the Ulta Beauty Sugared Vanilla Scented Body Scrub. You guys saw me talk about this one in one of my, this is wet. You guys saw me talk about this in one of my layering videos. And yes, I finished off this scrub because like I said, it was more of a oily, liquidy textured scrub, but it still definitely had like exfoliating properties. I really did like this one and I did like the scent as well. This one was great for layering as well as exfoliating. Another um, body scrub that I went through, this is the Bronze Coconut from Victoria's Secret Pink. This smelled so good. It said that it had coconut milk in it. So it says, it just says exfoliating sugar crystals with a splash of coconut milk. This smelled so, so good. I wish the actual Bronze Coconut scent from Victoria's Secret smelled like this scrub because I thought this was amazing. I really enjoyed this scrub and it definitely had enough exfoliating properties for me because it was a sugar scrub. So I felt like it did its job. Um, I have a three-week candle here from Bath & Body Works. This is the Coconut Colada Candle. This one smells like a tropical banana rum type of scent. So it's creamy coconut, spiced banana, and dark rum. That's exactly what this one smelled like. So I like to have this one in my bathroom and it burned pretty well. I like this candle. Okay, I have this Eco Tools Makeup Brush and Sponge Shampoo. I've already repurchased this. I really do like this product. I use it to clean my sponges every single day before I use them to apply my makeup. Um, then I have the Bliss Makeup Melt Dry Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser. You guys know I love a jelly cleanser to remove my makeup and it's the only type of product I will use to remove my makeup, either a jelly cleanser or a cleansing balm or something like that. So then I have the Cloud9 Cleansing Body Mousse from Bath & Body Works. This was actually really nice. I did enjoy this product. I did enjoy the scent. I believe, I believe this was the only product that I had this scent in, but it was really, really nice in the shower. I know a lot of people use these to shave with. I actually used it to like cleanse and moisturize my body because y'all know I don't shave. The only place I shave is my underarms. But yeah, this was really nice as like a cleansing mousse. So that was good. 
Um, here is a raspberry jam donut body cream. I just went ahead and used this up when I was using my YSL Mon Paris perfume. I really, really love raspberry jam donut. Y'all already know that. My spray is like, I have like a quarter left of the spray, but I'm holding on to it because there's just no rush for me to finish it. But I do love that scent. I also went through my Vanilla Confetti Sparkle Shower Gel. I was just using this scent and layering it with so many products because this is like that artificial cakey vanilla sprinkle type of scent. I was mixing it in with so many different products to get some use out of it. So I actually did go ahead and finish off the shower gel. I'm not close on the lotion and the spray. I'm still using that to mix with other things, but I'm not in a rush to like use it up because I do enjoy that as a mixing and layering product and type of scent. So I'm not gonna rush to use it up. Here is a single wick candle. This one is in Love Cotton Candy Champagne. I enjoy this scent and the candle in all the forms pretty much. So body care and everything. I did pull out Love Cat and Candy Champagne because I want to use it here for the um, winter time. But yeah, this one was a really, really nice candle. It smelled sweet. It smelled a little bit bubbly and fruity. Like it was just a really nice candle. Then I have the OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash in Decadent Aroma. I love this. I would definitely repurchase this. It just smells like a heavy vanilla frosting cakey type of scent. So that one was really good. Here is another Smart Mouth. Um, I finished off a hot cocoa and cream mini fine fragrance mist. This scent is really, really good for layering. Like I love this scent for layering because it basically just smells like cocoa powder. Like it's a heavy chocolate type of scent. So I do wish it smelled more like the hot cocoa and cream candle, but this one was really, really nice to have anyway. Um, here are two packets of my Dial Bar Soaps. Y'all know I love me some Dial Bar Soap to get me clean after sweating, after sexual activity, after anything. I love Dial Bar Soap to keep me clean. So y'all will always see that in my empties and I will go through that continuously. Here's a Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is in Carnival Kettle Corn. I hauled this during the summer. This smells so good. Oh my God, like y'all, this smells like Carnival Sweet Caramel Popcorn, okay? The scent notes for this one is Fun Fair Popcorn, Golden Vanilla, and Toffee Drizzle. This smells like a treat. I'm glad I have two more of these because that was so good. Here is my Charosa 62 Brazilian Crush Fine Fragrance Mist. This is so good. You guys, y'all already know. Y'all have heard me talk about this and y'all have heard how many compliments I've gotten on this fragrance. I sprayed it in my hair, on my body and everything when I went out of town and I got so many compliments from so many people. It was just crazy. Like even the valet who took my car, I got so many compliments on that scent. Here is the Frosted Coconut Snowball Fine Fragrance Mist that I was using with my Waikiki Beach Coconut set. So I finished that. Um, I finished off a Pink Velvet Cupcake Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is Sparkling Red Berries with Pink Marshmallow and Sugar Praline. This is just like a fruity, sweet berry scent. It's not heavy on the marshmallow, but this is still really soft and really, really nice. Um, I really enjoyed that one. And then I also have the Body Cream. I'm not sure if I used up the shower gel or not. I don't think I did, but here's the Body Cream. Cut it open, got everything out of there. Here's another Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is Rainbow Cereal. Love this. Just like with the Carnival Kettle Corn, I have two more of these soaps that I got during the summertime. So this one is Fruity Cereal Crunch and a Splash of Milk. I really wish they would bring this back out in different forms so we could have hand soap, wildflowers, candle, body care. Because last year I had the wildflowers and I missed out on the candle. This year they only had the hand soap. So I'm like, come on Bath and Body Works, give us something. I love this scent, highly recommend it. If I see it, I'ma grab it, okay? This is my Taraji P. Henson Anything Glows Lightweight Body Oil. This is in the Vanilla and Tuberose scent. I am obsessed with this scent. Um, I think it was my last empties video that I went through the in shower lotion. That wasn't the vanilla and tuberose scent, but just her body care line in general. I love all of her products. I'm actually going through her body cream right now. That's literally almost finished. I could have probably put it in this empties video, but I was just like, whatever, I'll get around to it. But yeah, I've already repurchased this. It's literally in a bag on the ground over there because I've already repurchased this. I love that product. It is so good. Another hand soap, this is the Coconuts About You Coconut Cream Pie hand soap. This smells just like coconut cream pie in the body care. So this was in my bathroom and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Finally went through a Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Jar. Um, this one still has a little bit left in there, but I'm not gonna go scraping around in there. I'm, I'm calling it, okay? Because I'm already working on a Vaseline Cocoa Butter one. Me and my kids are using that one because their skin gets so dry during the winter time. So I like to put Vaseline on them. And then y'all know I also use it for myself. Here's my hot cocoa and cream mini body cream that I use with the spray. Really, really like that. This is the Native Deodorant Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla. Y'all know I only use Native Deodorant. 
this and then here is the cherry and vanilla macaroon as well here is a little mini of the victoria's secret pure seduction um body lotion love pure seduction i actually need to go ahead and repurchase it because the only pure seductions that i have in my collection currently are the flankers so i need to go ahead and get the original and put it back in my collection um i also finished this goose creek hibiscus fruit punch moisturizing shower gel and i really wanted to use this to see how it was and i thought it was okay like this was actually a nice body wash i would use this i would purchase this like it was nice but i haven't bought anything from goose creek in a really really long time and it's not because i don't want to it's just because it hasn't been on my mind y'all know i haven't been purchasing a lot of things anyway so it just really hasn't been on my been on my mind but i definitely would repurchase their like body care products especially because they're vegan cruelty free moisturizing they don't have a lot of chemicals in them they're really really good um this is the olaplex number no. eight bond intense intense moisture mask y'all know i love the olaplex product Products. I just bought a set from Sephora so I will continuously have their products in my empties this is the number three hair perfecter love that as well I have two more bottles of that um this was a toner that I was using this is the pharmacy deep sweep 2% BHA pore cleaning toner um I think I had got this in like a subscription service and I just decided to go ahead and use it up I like to switch up my skincare sometimes because I feel like my skin can get used to my skincare so I switch it up every now and again but I'm back to using my original toner which is the Dickinson's witch hazel here is that frosted coconut snowball body wash and then I also went through the um blueberry moisturizing body wash so the scent note for this is just blueberry it's supposed to smell like blueberry to me this smells like candy it smells so good so i really enjoyed having that here is a three wick candle from goose creek this is in the scent france world traveler marshmallow macaroon this smelled super super good it was a mixture of like lemon and blueberry um strawberries i think and then it had like that macaroon cookie type of note, like something creamy and soft and sweet. This was a really, really good candle. I burned this one in my living room and it just smelled nice every time I lit it up. It made my living room just so, so bright and fun. So I really did enjoy this candle and it burned all the way down. And then the last three wick candle I have is also from Goose Creek. Not many Bath and Body Works candles at all this time, but y'all know I really do like the Goose Creek candles. I don't have problems with my Goose Creek candles like other people do. I don't have problems with my candles period like other people do like bath and body words goose creek whatever i really don't have a lot of problems with my candles i don't know why that is but yeah this is the warm donut sugar three wick candle and this smelled so good it was a bready cinnamony sugary type of scent and it was perfect for the start of fall that's when i use it and i really enjoyed it so the next things i have in here are like skincare wallflowers and pocket bags and then a couple of perfumes so this is the good molecules niacinamide serum highly recommend this good molecules is so inexpensive and their skincare actually does what it says they remind me of the ordinary like they're very affordable you can find them at ulta and their skincare products are bomb okay this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I would not repurchase that because they changed the formula and I don't like it. I liked it more when it was a gel. So now that it's like a lotion consistency, it's like every other sunscreen moisturizer out there and I don't love that. This is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is a repurchase over and over again. I'm currently using one right now. I love this product. It is so good to moisturize and hydrate your face at night. And then this is another repurchase product that I have told you guys about so many times. If you have not got this, I don't know what you're doing with your skin, okay? This is the L'Oreal Revitalift 10% Pure Glycolic Acid. I've already told you why you need glycolic acid. Look it up, Google it, okay? um okay two perfumes that i have here i finished off zara femme this was on my perfume tray for september august i don't know but i finished off this perfume and i love zara femme it's supposed to be a dupe of your hypnotic poison but i don't like hypnotic poison so i don't know where they get that that dupe from but it doesn't smell like it to me because I think this one smells 10 times better. But anywho, I also finished off the La Vanilla Pure Vanilla from um, Scentbird. And I will be purchasing that in a full size because I 100% love that scent. I only went through two pocket bags. That can't be right.
two pocket bags, okay. Blackberries and basil, and then Be the Rainbow, rainbow cereal, so good. And then here are a bunch of wallflowers. So we have black cherry seltzer, a nice fruity, fizzy, fun type of scent, smelled like black cherries, it was really fruity. Then we have coconut lime breeze, absolutely love that one. It's heavy on the lime. There's only a little bit of coconut that comes through, but it makes your home smell like a beach house. So during the summer and spring, that is the perfect scent. Strawberry pound cake, because we always, always have something strawberry pound cake in the empties video okay pink apple punch i really like that in the wallflower i don't know why i didn't like it in the candle but this is campfire donuts i used that wallflower in conjunction with the cinnamon donut sugar candle from goose creek and it was so perfect had my house smelling like a bakery okay another coconut lime breeze the tag came off of here but yes coconut lime breeze love it and then fairy tale this was in my spare bedroom love that one and then harvest pomegranate was in my room and it was just a fruity fun fragrance so that is everything you guys those are all of my empties that i had for this go around i hope you guys enjoy seeing this video as always um like i said i'm gonna try and get more empties out so for january there will probably be a bigger empties but i hope you guys enjoyed this one anyway if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it and what you have finished off if you're new thank you so much for watching i definitely appreciate you you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace